my beautiful Sagittarius, welcome to your August 2022 monthly reading or whenever you are so forth called. This is a reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Cross watchers, you are welcome. It is very general, so please take what resonates. Leave behind what simply does not. Feel free to check your Moon, Rising, Venus signs for additional messages for you. Sagittarius or the person on your mind. If you are unsure, unaware what your other planetary placements are, there is a link in my description box to a free natal calculator that can help you suss out that information. To all my returning Sagittarian subscribers and viewers, I want to give a great big shout out of love and gratitude to each and every single one of you. If you are new, welcome to the channel. Well, my name is Amy at Kassarian House of Tarot, and we are very pleased to have you here. As a gentle reminder, you guys know the drill. Please be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump right into your reading. Sagittarius, we're going to take a look at your tarot spread. And then we'll be taking a look at the zodiac signs showing up most in your energy. So this could be the zodiac signs that you have most on your mind, the person uh, that you are thinking of. Or it could simply be the energy of the zodiac signs that is most influencing you at this time. We will follow that up with some oracle cards and then a, we'll pull from the wisdom of the oracle for your uh, guidance. All right. So in the heart of the matter, Sagittarius, we have the six of wands. So this is a card of reconciliation, of victory, of achievements being recognized. So this could be public attention, fanfare. Or a sense of accomplishment, but this is also forward movement. What is being crossed is judgment. So there is a choice, a decision that needs to be made. This is about really looking inward and really looking at a situation and finding forgiveness. It's about release. For some of you, this is definitely, I'm getting the energy of reconciliation for some of you uh, very strongly. But there's a judgment call that is going to be victorious. It's going to come out in your favor. So in the foundation, we have the Six of Swords. So this is definitely some very interesting energy for you, Sagittarius. I feel like this is this energy of you or your person. Someone here learned a lesson and they are moving forward and moving on from it. More recent past, we have the King of Pentacles. Crowning this, we have the Lovers. Future energy coming in. We've got the King of Swords. Your energy, how you're showing up. We got the Six of Cups. Outside influence to you. We have the Knight of Pentacles. And the Hopes and Fears. We have the Two of Swords. And future energy coming in. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Overall energy here, we have the Page of Pentacles. A hidden energy, we have the Five of Cups. Some additional information players in this game, we have the Knight of Cups with the Nine of Wands. We have the King of Cups with the Four of Cups. Very interesting energy. And the Ten of Swords. So, Aquarius, for some of you, this is an ending that's about to be resurrected. Something that felt finished, very brutal, unable to kind of be revived, is about to turn around and you're going to have success in the situation. Um, it's going to come from a place of, honestly, from a place of forgiveness, it's going to edge this forward. The overall energy that I'm picking up in this reading, I'm going to tell you for most of you, um, this is going to be pretty much a love reading. It's the energy that I'm picking up. So if you're here for a career or a family or some other aspect of your life, kind of remember that um, as you're going through it. This may not necessarily be the best reading for you. All right. So the energy that I'm picking up with the Page of Pentacles, this is the overall energy. So I feel either you, Sagittarius, or somebody outside of you, so your person, um, the person that you have on your mind, or someone is coming towards you. Um, I feel like this is kind of both energies, to be honest with you. 
And both of you have this idea, this thought, this offer that you want to extend, express here with this page of pentacles. Now pages are not kings. We have a king here, but we have a page here. And so what I'm getting is this kind of nervous energy where both of you are very nervous about expressing this, this pinnacle, this opportunity, this thought, what you really, both of you really want, whatever this represents for you. Uh, but there's this nervousness. So I feel like uh, this can be actually, the feeling is quite large, but I'm, what I'm feeling is that it's being minimized down. And I'm getting the sense of this is not wanting to overwhelm or not knowing how the other person's going to perceive it. So this is an energy that I feel like there, there's something here that wants to be offered, but it's being minimized. Uh, for some of you, it may be being held back. The hidden energy, the subconscious mind, is focused on what was lost, what is not had. This is grief, regret, remorse. But I feel like it's affecting this confidence of your person or of you and extending or accepting whatever it is here that you guys are wanting to get going. I am going to pull a couple of clarifiers on the spread itself because what I'm picking up on is this energy, especially with what I'm seeing and as the overall Sagittarius, for some of you, you really felt this situation was completely over. And I think in the foundation of this, you are in the mind frame of moving forward. Now, this could be moving forward together, moving forward apart. But in your in your life, this is about you're wanting to move forward. I am going to go ahead and pull a clarifier on this right now. All right, spirit guides, angels, ancestors of the light, let's clarify. The six of swords, please, for Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. The Six of Swords in the foundation of this reading. What does Sagittarius most need to know? Yeah. One more. Thank you. Yeah. Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck with the Page of Pentacles. The Five of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Uh, yeah. I feel what's happened here for my Sagittarius, so some of you, okay, so this is Sagittarian energy here, the Five of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, and you know, here we have this page again. So what I'm feeling is Sagittarius, so with the Five of Swords, there's this energy of distrust, of uncertainty, like so you feel like someone was trying to pull one over on you. So there was this opportunity. Maybe you made an offer, maybe you, this person made an offer, but there seemed to be lacking sincerity. I do think, yeah, look here. Um, I, with the, I feel like somebody came forward and made an offer or expressed themselves or wanted to. And there was this feelings of lacking of security. Somebody got caught up in their head with this eight of swords. They kind of felt trapped or stuck. Uh, but they, they're they cutting themselves loose of this. They're wanting to really communicate how they're truly feeling or they wanted to. Um, Sagittarius as well, very well could have been you uh, that, you know, kind of got this, this situation came about and you kind of got spooked and maybe didn't quite trust it, felt like maybe someone was trying to pull one over on you and you may have gotten kind of stuck in that energy there. All right, so what do we have here with the King of Pentacles? The Tower. Hmm. The Three of Pentacles. The Three of Wands. All right, so, wow. Sagittarius, for some of you, not all of you, of course, is this going to apply. But some of you could have found out um, that somebody was involved in a third party or there was a third party energy involved in the situation. Um, for some of you, that is absolutely a fact. For others of you, I feel like something that you put a lot of time, effort, energy, work into, there was a collapse here as it no longer aligned with your future. Seven of Pentacles, this was divinely orchestrated. 
So the universe, the divine, depending on whether you're spiritual or not, there is this energy, this influence, this power was meant to happen. This epiphany, this destruction uh, was meant to happen for the better so that there could be fast forward movement. All right, so we have the lovers coming in, Gemini energy. So this is making a decision, a choice when it comes to love. This can be for some of you, uh, uh, energy of soulmates, twin flames, someone to be on their spiritual path here. Uh, what is this lovers? What is the lovers crowning this reading? Well, that's pretty darn clear. Okay. So Sagittarius, Queen of Wands popping up. Yep, yeah, this is... This is the situation that you're wanting, that you feel is over. You were wounded in this situation. You want this partnership. You want to be able to, can, there's cancer energy here. Um, having victory, movement, forward movement, having a win in the situation. You're wanting to move things forward. You're wanting this partnership, but you were, you were definitely uh, damaged and wounded in this. You're still holding on to hope. You've not given up hope. But it's feeling like there is, like, n you, you haven't given up on hope, but you're feeling like it's kind of futile. With the Ten of Swords, you're kind of really starting to feel like this is over. Uh, Queen of Wands tells me that you're very passionate about this person. Some of you could be connecting to another fire sign, another Leo or Aries or Sagittarius. Uh, but I feel like you're very attracted to this person. You have a lot of passion, desire. Uh, you really want to communicate how you're feeling. You see long-term potential in this partnership with this particular person you can see building a life with them or at one time you may have been married or have children with this person for some of you but again you're wanting to move this forward you're really wanting to get things moving because at the end of the day you really love this person and you want to restore yeah restore the balance two cards the balance right there some of you, it is a Leo. All right, so let's see what this King of Swords is bringing in. King of Swords. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so... Sagittarius, you've got the King of Swords on coming in, and they are very passionate. They've got the spark. They got this idea. They've got this desire. They got this thing that they want to make happen. There's a lot of love. This person has mastered their emotions. I don't think that they're brimming and overflowing it. That with the King of Swords. So what I'm the energy I'm getting is the person that you are connecting with here, or this very well could be you. Feel free to swap them around. But what I'm feeling is this person is kind of like cold, detached. They're not really showing their emotions very well. They're not expressing them. They're kind of sitting in them, but they're not expressing them. They have a lot of hope, a fire, desire. They're, they're putting a lot on this connection on you, but they are definitely overthinking it and overanalyzing at this very moment. Like they are definitely feeling that energy of coulda, woulda, shoulda, should I or shouldn't I kind of energy. All right, Sagittarius, you are showing up in the Six of Cups. So this is feeling that soulmate kind of love. It's getting back to innocence, maybe a past life situation or past relationship returning. Some of you may just be kind of focused and trying to heal the past here. So let's see what the Six of Cups represents. Yeah, you're conflicted about something in the past. Yep, this is what's got you stuck, Sagittarius. Two of Swords. You're conflicted about something that happened in the past, possibly with this person. Something that was said, something that was done. Ooh, three of swords. Some of you are conflicted about this person because you have a past that has brought heartbreak and pain. Some of you, again, you could have children with this person. Uh, but this is a very strong energy. You, the, you This could have been a loss. Um, for some of you, a, ch um, a, a miscarriage. For some of you, a loss of a child, a loss of a love. But I feel like you really gave a lot to this situation and it concluded, it came to an end. So you're really conflicted. You don't want to revisit that heartbreak. All right, let's see the outside influence here with the Knight of Pentacles. We're going we're gonna to try it again. 
Knight of Pentacles energy, please. Why is it here? Please show me clearly, precisely, accurately. Something's moving very cautiously, very slowly. Okay, the Knight of Swords. So I feel like this is kind of your person and, and they're holding back. Okay. Four of swords, four of pentacles. They're holding back. Some of you, they're checking to see if you're single, uh, how their message would be received. And what message is that? They want to rush in. They want to communicate. They want to express their emotions, make a love offer here. Uh, apologize, try to sweep you off your feet. There's an offer. There's something in this cup. So there's definitely something they're wanting to offer you. They're wanting to rush in, but they're not. This is very thought out, very meticulous, very slow, very slow moving. They're definitely holding and holding back. Um, this person, I feel like this is like, like the dam holding the water back, but the boards are breaking. Like it's breaking. The breakers are, are opening and all there's going to be this big flood of emotion because this person has been holding this in and they're really kind of reaching the energy that I'm picking up is they're reaching their breaking point on that. All right, so Sagittarius, future energy are, yeah, hopes and fears. My apologies. Two of Swords, you're in a crossroads. You are your person with the Two of Swords needing to make a decision, needing to make a choice, or not seeing what's coming. Maybe you're feeling blinded, unknown, facing the unknown in this situation. We've got the King of Pentacles. You're looking about long-term stability. You're wanting fortune. You're wanting a chance here. Yeah, at love. You're looking, you're wanting long-term stability, a partnership. You're wanting a turn of good luck. You're wanting to create and cultivate something beautiful here. Uh, and you're at a crossroads of getting this. All right, nine of pentacles. So Sagittarius, this is standing in your own power. You got wish. Oh, nine of cups, nine of pentacles. I like this energy. We've got the nines going on. What else do we have? The seven of pentacles. Yep. One more on this nine of pentacles. The two of wands. The ace of swords is popping out there too. And the six of pentacles. All right, Sagittarius. I love this. So you've got the nine of pentacles, and that's all about standing in your own energy here. This is about taking ownership. This is a power. This, you have powerful uh, energy of manifestation. This is you kind of owning your own self. And with it comes self-love. With the Nine of Cups, you're knowing your self-worth. You're knowing your value. You're a powerhouse with these two energies. This is being emotionally fulfilled. This is wishes coming true. You have evaluated. You have got miracles. You have this is all divine timing. Timing has been an issue, but it's now all coming forth. Ace of Swords, Truthful, New Beginning. You're seeing honesty and truth and you're getting clarity. And then you're making a decision. You're making a choice here. And you're planning on how to act on it, you or your person. They may have seen that you are finally, you, you stepped in the light. You've got that power turned on. Your light is shining very bright here, Sagittarius. Your person may be seeing this. They have had to patiently wait for this moment. They're seeing the clarity in it. And now they're making their plan to come in, come and get you. Come and get it. Um, and very interesting because what we're having for additional information, we've got the King of Cups with the Four of Wands. There's love. There's unconditional love here and wanting a long-term foundation. Some of you, this person um, really loves you or you love them and you see the potential for marriage, commitment. There is this energy of wanting to rush in, make a love offer, state their case, and but holding back, holding on and holding back. Um, which was we seen as a common theme throughout this reading. All right, Sagittarius, let's go ahead and look at those zodiac signs that are showing up most in your energy at this time. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, let's take a look at Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and the zodiac signs that are most dominant in their energy at this time. Please show me clearly, precisely, accurately. All right, so we have Aries. We have Leo. 
we have Gemini, we have Libra, and we have Taurus with Cancer at the bottom of the deck. All right, let's take a look at those oracles and see what's coming through. So from the Romance Angels, we have Express Your Love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So this could be advice for you or your person about really kind of putting yourself out there, opening your heart space and communicating what you want and how you feel. Remember to love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So express your love, express yourself, be open to love, but don't be a doormat. Uh, remember to honor yourself and value yourself above all else. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So this is confirmation that this isn't just, you know, for some of you, if you're, especially if you're dealing with a past person or past situation, this those feelings are still, still there. They're still real. They're still worth um, exploring. They're not, um, you know, ghost pains from, your, you know, years, days, weeks, months, on past. Deception, yeah. Somebody isn't been honest. Somebody has not been forthright about how they're truly feeling. Uh, they're not coming forward. They've been holding back, which we've seen. And then we, again, we have timing with for, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So this is all going to happen when it's supposed to. It can't be rushed. It's going to happen organically. So let's see how this person is feeling. We got the untold truths of the heart. We have mirror, reflection, shared feeling, you. So this is my twin flame cards. We're definitely, some of you were dealing with twin flame energy here. So how your person's feeling about you, um, if you resonate with twin flames, if you're resonating with this reading, um, your person is feeling exactly the same as you are feeling about them. Your exact thoughts, your exact emotions, your exact feelings, they are reflecting that back. All right, so we definitely got pride coming through, ego, arrogance, stubborn love. So this person may have very strong, very prideful, or they think that you are. They may think that you're stubborn, or they, they're very stubborn. Some of you, this is Leo, um, represented by the lion. Um, but pride is, is maybe playing a part. Maybe they're afraid of being uh, rejected or turned away in this situation. Uh, euphoria, chasing thrills. Day, uh, joy, laughter. I'm getting day. For some reason, I was getting ready to say day. So this day may have some significance um, for your connection um, or maybe a, a name or a, um, there could be something significant there today. But uh, what I'm getting is there that they make you, or they, you make them, they feel very happy when they think of you, when they're around you. This person uh, it definitely is filled with a lot of joy and love and light and laughter when they're near you. Yeah, limit, the final straw overload breaking point. Um, that's the energy that I was picking up on. So there's that, there's that energy, that image of the dam being like holding all this water in, which is emotions, so which is love. And uh, it's reaching its breaking point. Like I told you, those breakers are open, the boards are breaking. All this emotion is going to come flowing and flying and rushing out because they've been holding it back. Yeah, trapped, st stuck, tied down, captive. This person's been trapped in a cycle in their mind. They've been just feeling like it's it, like the situation was an impossible uh, task. Um, but like I said, like they've been they've been slow moving and stagnant. But I have a feeling here soon that that's that's breaking loose. So we have, I want you. So this is how your person um, feels. They may not be communicating this out loud, but they want you. Yeah. Timing was an issue within this connection. The timing just wasn't right for us. I feel you even though we're apart. Yeah. This is twin flame energy. Absolutely. And I left you before you could leave me. And this is a message for those of you that are in separation. Uh, they felt like maybe you were about ready to leave them, so they may have pulled the pulled the pulled the cord, the rip cord before you because they thought you were gonna pull it. Maybe you weren't Sagittarius, but that's the energy that they read. All right, let's see what your person would say if they were directly speaking to you in this moment with some he said she said messages. Yeah, 
the separation is hard for me to take. I will come back to you. Yeah. Winter. So winter may be a name. It may be a significant someone's birthday anniversary. Maybe in the winter time, you may be coming back into union in the winter. Um, you may have went to a winter festival or, you know, winter could be, would be something significant or significant time frame within your connection. All right. I made you a promise. I do intend to keep. Okay, so this is about honoring you. I miss hearing your voice calling my name. I have deep wounds to heal. My arms feel empty without you. And I have so much regret for how things ended. Yeah. Guys, before I jump into the spiritual jukebox, uh, I do want to say that when I was done pulling all your oracle cards, I had a song that actually started um, playing in my head that is not yet and will be added because this is what spirit does. They will put lyrics in my head that have significant meaning to the reading. And um, this is a song that has not been added yet, but it will be added. This is why I say um, my spiritual jukebox cards are continuously growing. So the first song that I'm going to give you that does not have a card yet is uh, John Michael Montgomery, I Can Love You Like That. All right, that being stated, as I am pulling and showing you the cards that, was, that came through for use from the spiritual jukebox, please know that not every song will resonate with you. Please take only what does resonate, what you feel pulled to. Let your intuition guide you. It will pop. It will stand out. You will feel that energetic cord if you allow yourself to. Do not force anything. Do not take anything that you are not drawn to. You will instantly be feel a connection. You will instantly know if it is your song or not. You could also... A song could come through that has a significant meaning for you or your partnership, but this is supposed to be a way of letting you know how your person is thinking or feeling or thinking and feeling about you at this time. So that being stated, let's go ahead and look. Words I couldn't say, Leighton Muster, Mister, Meister, Meister, I cannot pronounce these names. Save the best for last, Vanessa Williams. My person, Spencer Crandall. I'll stand by you, the pretenders. Something just like this, the chain smokers and cold play. I'm yours, Jason Mratz, Mars, Mars. Falling like the stars, James Author. This is me you're talking to, Patricia Yearwood. Thinking out loud, Ed Sharon. Hungry eyes, Eric Carmen. Again, Janet Jackson. This was the first card that came out. Ten thousand hours, Dan and Shay and Justin Bieber. Come Alive, Beth Crowley. And last but not least, A Thousand Years, Christina Perry. So again, only take what you are intuitively drawn to. Leave behind simply what it does not fit. And let's go ahead and pull that final message. Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors of the Light. Let's take a look at Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please, for August 2022. Or whenever they are so called to this reading. What does Sagittarius need to know for their highest vibration and highest good? Best messages, advice, and guidance, please. Best messages, advice, and guidance for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Best 
message, advice, and guidance for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. Thank you. Alright, so we have two ending messages. Yes. <laughs> we have card 39. new life when spring awakens the world joy and excitement can be felt all around in your very core blossoms burst from trees overnight birds return home and sing their glorious song and nature is full of promise miracles beckon on all of us this is one of those times in your life when new ideas inspire you and new opportunities bring you hope for seeing your dreams come true. All is well in your world, and you have the energy you need to feel renewed. Allow your heart to fill with enthusiasm. Let your light shine, for this is a time of good fortune. If you are here for a relationship message. New energy enters old relationships, and new relationships are bursting with the sweetness and vibrancy only encountered when winter. Wow. Wow gives the way to spring. This is a time to connect with others and share excitement, passion, and hearts full of joy. This card is a very auspicious sign with respect to love and partnerships in all forms. So what is this? This is a new beginning in love and life. I love it. I love this message. All right, and I am getting... I, the second message here. I'm getting this is going to speak to those specific, no, for all of you, yes, but those of you that are relating to the twin flame aspect of this reading, uh, this is very well maybe your card here, your message. So your general oracle message is intuition is the faculty that allows you to enter into a dialogue with source, the consciousness that you are a part of but cannot see with the naked eye. It's perplexing that people are taught to ignore this natural capacity to navigate their journey, to access their inner guidance. Know that you have an ability to read between the lines and find all the truth that was missing when the story was told. This deep knowing allows you to open the door to wisdom far greater than what is available in the limitations of human experience. You're giving information that may make no sense whatsoever to the logical mind or five senses, but which is 100% correct and true. The trick is to listen and then to act accordingly. You're now invited into the sacred dialogue of deep knowing. So tune in and trust your vibes. They will be right. Ask and you will receive answers from unusual sources. So this is all about listening to your intuition because it's humming and it's vibing for you right now, um, Sagittarius, and for the relationship message. There are occasions when you just know deep in your heart and soul that a person is going to play a meaningful role in your life. Someone crosses your path and suddenly, out of the blue, you're connected at a level impossible to describe. That feeling marks a moment in time etched indelibly onto your soul. Someone has entered your life who will be instrumental in your journey, so pay attention. Two hearts are calling to each other to begin an alchemical process. This is also a sign that your intuition about the person you care about is correct. Trust your heart to lead you now. Magic is about to happen. All right, Sagittarius. Wow, what a beautiful, inspiring reading. Uh, there's, this is an energy of all over the place, of reconciliation, of victory, of coming together, of feeling like there was no hope, that this, this was impossible, people not being forthright and holding back their emotions, to bursting at the scene where everything is coming um, to fruition, that uh, things are balancing out, that there is this new life energy being given here. All right, guys, that is it. That is all I have for you at this time. I hope this gave you clarity. Please be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you have not yet done so, hit the notification bell, 
Drop a comment in the box below. Let me know whether this reading resonated with you. If you're a twin flame, if you believe in twin flames, if you don't, say hello. I read all comments. I do try to interact as much as possible. Otherwise, guys, I will see you guys in your next reading. Much love to each and every one of you. Namaste. Bye for now.